Hey folks, we're here with uh, the 2003 CBR 600 RR. Um, the reason for this video is because I've done a lot of research on the forums trying to find the solution to this problem, uh, but there's a lot of folks that don't know exactly what the problem is. And the problem is getting an aftermarket tail light with the integrated turn signals. Basically what happens is you put this in, you plug in the stock connector from the tail light and the stop light uh, and the running light. Everything works great. The brakes work fine. But then you connect your turn signal wires to the turn signal wires provided from the tail light and all of a sudden all the LEDs go out. Then when you turn the signal on, you'll see it work. And it may be different for different models, I'm not exactly sure, but in this case, all I needed to do was get a couple relays, single pull, single throw relays, and take my input from the turn signal wire, which is already giving me a timed, uh, and you can take a look at that with your multimeter and see that you're going from 0 to 12 volts, 0 to 12 volts. Um, then you basically take that as your common on your um, on your relay and you're going to have uh, one side of that common is also going to connect to the other side of the coil. So basically you're taking this original turn signal wire and wiring it to both the common and one side of the coil. And I'll show the diagram here. Um, then the other side is going to be going to ground and the output of the relay, the fourth wire, is going to be going to your turn signal. So let me just take this out and I'll show you how this works. Um, all right. So basically when I connect this up to just one of these wires, and I don't have anything covered yet, I know this looks a little dangerous, but um, let me show you just without. Okay, we got our we got our tail. We got our brake. Okay, as soon as I connect this. Turn signals on, things are working. Turn it off, and the light goes out. Turn signal still works. Obviously, I got it mismatched right now, so if you're hitting the right signal and you're getting the left side, just reverse the wires. So basically, I built this little relay module. You can go to Radio Shack and get the parts. I'll post your pictures. Like I said, take the input from either side of the turn signal wires, run it to the common wire. So basically take the turn signal wire, the original OEM coming out of the bike, and you're going to run that to common and one side of the coil. Then you're going to ground the other side of the coil, and then the fourth wire on your relay will go to the turn signal. Okay, so basically here's my ground wire, which I know this is a little hodgepodge, but I will basically have this connected under the screw here with a with uh, one of these guys when I'm done and I'll solder it all together. So I'm just just tested it to make sure everything worked. Okay, uh, and I color coded red for me was uh, my power in, black was my ground, and I just made both the turn signals blue. If I get them wrong when I'm checking it, just flip the wires real quick before I solder and I'm good to go. That's my right signal. There's my left signal. Okay, signal off and brake. Okay, and then here's the turn signal with brake. You can see all oh, that's working. Okay, so I've crimped on my ground here. And I'm just gonna pop the screw out of this little bracket that holds the back seat or the cover on, whichever you have. This ground was the reason we had issue in the video earlier if, that's, um, if that was shown. So you need to connect that, make sure you connect that. Now again, just to kind of sort things out here. Of course everything is tangled. So let me pull this guy off. I'm just getting these yellow and blue wires out of the way here. Now when I made this relay pack, it was all it's all soldered together 
and I used hot glue on the terminals and then I wrapped over electrical tape so there's no sharp edges here so you probably want to take the time to do that now again these are the my inputs to this relay and there's two relays in this pack you need one for each side and if you want to use heat shrink uh, when you're done you certainly can so I'm just getting everything ready in a good position to solder if, uh, if you're wondering what this is it's like an alarm system uh, that is no longer being used. Previous owner kind of hacked up the electrical grid on this bike. So these are my turn signals again to the aftermarket tail. This is the wiring harness for the stoplight and running light which all works fine until you connect the turn signal wires. So that's what this relay pack solves and this is probably the solution for most of these problems that people are having when they hook these lights up and they're wondering why their turn signals don't work. Alright, so we got the soldering iron heating up right now and I just want to mention that this same setup can be used uh, on the front signals as opposed to resistors. You can make the same design that, uh, that I'll show in the video and basically hook these up same way to your front turn signals and that will eliminate the flashing issue if it's flashing too fast for you. I was waiting for the soldering iron to heat up. If you noticed I had this this wire kind of rigged to the green wire so the actual turn signal wires are the, the light blue and the green and so I just got rid of that piece and I stripped the wire down. The end result will not matter as far as uh, how solid it stays. Right, let's see if we're ready to go here. Yep. Okay. So be careful not to touch any other wires. And you want to touch your soldering iron to the wire and then kind of just touch other parts as the wire heats up and that's how you get a really solid connection. Okay. So you put a little solder on there to get the wire hot, and then you can basically come right down the wire here. Okay, and get this one here. And then my solder is probably 20 years old. Now, this doesn't have to be perfect, so you can certainly get away with a lot before it causes issues. Just getting a little solder in there is going to make a world of difference. Okay. So we have it soldered up. And before I turn off the iron, do a final check. Uh, we've soldered the wires. We haven't covered anything up, so at this point we could certainly take something apart if necessary. Uh, but we're going to just test it out. Now we should have running light on, which we do. And I'm going to look to the, yeah, I can see that. And turn signals, looking good. Right side, looking good. And brake, and I can see it in the reflection. Okay, great. So there's your install. This relay set up, two relays. The common on the relay and one side of the coil is wired to the turn signal output from the bike. The other side of the coil is going to a ground that I've attached here with a little round type connector and the fourth pin on your on your relay are to connect to the turn signal. So if you hook this up, you hook these guys up first and you make it like I did where I didn't use a lot of colors to identify it and you got the wrong signals flashing just reverse these two wires and double check to make sure everything is you know uh, mine shows it but not all bikes show it so I can see left signal and see the left signal so just double check them before you you close this stuff up okay we can do it that way too so all I'm doing is before I turn off the iron, I'm just gonna cover this stuff up. Okay. It just makes life easier. You don't have to use electrical tape, which is terrible. Okay. 
pop that back open, and I'm doing these turn signal inputs. These are from the bike. I'm going to just take my iron and roll up the side here. It's nice and hot. Just try to get as much surface area around it because that's what's going to tighten the stuff up and form around the wire. Then you don't have to worry about it shorting anything out. So just kind of roll it around. You'll see it kind of gloss over too. Remember, don't burn any other wires. This stuff doesn't burn very easily, so. And you can see how tight it shrunk up on there, so that's not going anywhere. And we're just going to kind of try to maneuver this a little bit. I'll use the side of my iron. That's that. Front signal's working good. And rear brake. Awesome. So there you have it. There's your fix, guys. I know a lot of people have been, been searching for this fix. So here it is.